okay we'll see next chapter that is a snack to given us angle in this snack side chapter we'll discuss angles types of angle pair of angles degree measure of an angles transversal vertically opposite angle interior angle of transversal exterior angle of a transverse corresponding angle alternate exterior angle theorems angles angle bisector let's see here first of all angle here angle an angle is a figure formed by two ray with same initial point initial point is called vertex two ray are called arms of angle this is our angle here this is vertex and this is arm this is arm and from line joining dotted line joining this is angle it is generally represented by a symbol like this is symbol of angle now here types of angle see here first of all acute angle here acute angle an angle that measures between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle for example angle cba is an acute angle here it means it is less than 90 degree c b a is acute angle as this dotted line represent 90 degree and this is less than 90 degree it means this is acute angle it comes between 0 degree and 90 degree but not 90 degree obtuse angle an angle measures between 90 degree and 180 degree is called an obtuse angle for example angle c b a is an obtuse angle here angle c b a is an obtuse angle here 80 degree dotted line is 180 degree and this dotted line is 90 degree but between 90 degree and 180 degree here given angle measures between 90 degree and 180 degree it means in between 180 degree and 90 degree it comes here next our reflex angle an angle that measures between 180 degree and 360 degree is called a reflex angle for example p q r is a reflex angle here see here p q r is a reflex angle as its measure is between 180 degree and 360 degree a straight angle an angle that measures exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle we can see here this is line straight line and it is also called 180 degree angle a straight or flat angle are formed when the legs are pointing in exactly opposite direction two legs then form a single straight line through the vertex of angle measure of a flat angle is thus always 180 degree now here complete angle now complete angle an angle that measures exactly 360 degree is called a complete angle now complete circle on circle is 360 angle now here 45 90 135 180 225 270 315 and here comes 360 it means complete all this complete this is complete angle and it measures exactly about 360 degree right angle an angle that measures exactly 90 degree is called right angle here this is our right angle and this measures exactly 90 degree here a b c or angle c b a for example c b a is right angle c b a is our right angle Let's see here pair of angles. Now 
angle pair and their names and is their property with figure. Let's see here. Adjacent angle. Angle that have a common vertex and a common arc but no common interior. Angle ABC it adjacent to angle CBD. Here this means given here this is CB is common arms and B is common vertex but there is no common interior it means interior is no common no. this is our adjacent angle now here also see we vertically opposite angle a pair of non adjacent angle formed by intersecting of two straight line each opposite pair are called vertically opposite angle and are always congruent for example angle AOC and angle BOD are vertically opposite angle given here two straight line intersect each other here both line this line and this line intersecting each other here at point O and opposite angles vertically opposite angles are always concurrent means they are equal in size here angle AOC angle AOC is equal to angle D O B they are opposite angles so they are also we can say they are vertically opposite angle complementary angle we have two angles that add up to 90 degree for example sum of angle A and angle B is 90 degree here between 90 degree given a line and angle A and angle B both sum of both angle gives 90 degree so this is complementary angle this is complementary of B and B is complementary of A supplementary angle two angles add up to 180 degree for example sum of angle A and angle B is 180 degree here B is supplementary of A and A is supplementary of B this forms a supplementary angle degree of an angle now see here degree measure of an angle always we will measure degree of any angle when angle is measured it is always written in degree a standard unit of measurement of an angle is degree it is represented by symbol or this is sign of degree on the top right one right angle equal 90 degree equal 90 degree in this way 90 degree this can be also written or this can be also written one degree equal 60 minute transversal a transversal is a line that crosses at least two other line here transversal transversal is a line that crosses at least two other line transversal intersecting non parallel line here ab is a transversal red one this red one is transversal here ab is a transversal which intersect to non parallel line pq and rs pq this is pq and lower one is rs both is non parallel lines and ab is a transversal that intersecting both lines transversal intersecting parallel line ab is a transversal which intersect two parallel line here pq and rs here pq and rs both are parallel lines and AB is a transversal that intersect both this parallel line. Here vertically opposite angle again. In before also we discussed about vertically opposite angle. Let's discuss again here vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle are the angle opposite to each other when two line crosses. They are called vertical because they share same vertex now here a is vertically opposite angle to d c is vertically opposite angle to b here they have common vertex so they are called vertically opposite angle here also we can say that 
f is vertically opposite to e and e is vertically opposite to s here g is blue blue is vertically opposite angle black black is vertically opposite angle here also black black and red red is vertically opposite angle here we can see here angle a equal angle d angle a equal angle d angle b equal angle c angle b equal angle c angle e equal angle s angle f equal g or vertical opposite angle for example if angle a and angle d are vertical opposite vertical angle a and d are vertical angles the measure of both angle angle a and d will be same interior angle of transversal angle that are formed on the inside of two line are known as interior angle here we can see d and f are our interior angle likewise c and e is our interior angle here c d e f are interior angle here exterior angle of a transversal angle that are formed on the outside of two line are called exterior angle see here outside of our a b g h here a b g h are our exterior angle corresponding angle corresponding angle if two lines are parallel the pair of angle on the same side of transversal if both lie either above the two line or below the two line here in this way we see that two line are in intersected by a transversal such that angle m equal angle q here angle m equal angle q this red one red one next angle n equal angle r angle n equal angle r this blue one angle o equal angle s angle o equal angle s green one and angle p equal angle t angle p equal t this is sky blue now alternate angle interior and exterior angle now see here alternate interior angle are created where a transversal crosses two usually parallel line each pair of this angle are inside the parallel line and on the opposite side of the transversal in diagram below angle c equal angle f angle d equal angle e are alternate interior angle here see more this our alternate angle here alternate exterior angle are created where a transversal crosses two line usually parallel lines each pair of these angles are outside the parallel lines on the opposite sides of a transversal angle a equal angle s angle a equal angle at angle b equal angle g are alternate exterior angle it means here angle a equal angle s this is alternate exterior angle here g equal b this is alternate exterior angle now theorems of angle some theorem let's see property one for parallel lines, pair of alternate interior or exterior angles are equal. Property 2. For parallel lines, pair of corresponding angles are equal. Property 3. Sum of 
the interior or exterior angle on the same side of the transversal is 180 degree angle bisector now a ray that divides an angle into two equal and adjacent angle is called an angle bisector angle bisector divides an angle axc into two equal parts such as axb equal angle bxc here angle bisector means this xb is a bisector of angle axc and it divides angle axc into two equal angle now in this way we completed our this angle chapter of geometry